James Sprogger here from DragonBlogger.com. Today I have a little video of something a little different. Yesterday I did the unboxing of this. This is the Cheerwing uh, stunt car. This is a, actually an amphibious stunt car, so they believe it, they say it's waterproof. You should be able to, you know, it's got tracks as you can see. It's got some tracks. It does fold open for water. But yesterday's test was a little different. They said it could drive in snow. In this video, you'll see it actually in the snow. You'll see a little bit of uh, what it can do, what it can't do. Um, I'll let you guys see that with the raw video, with the raw sound. And then at the end, I'll explain how I feel about how it worked out for me. It drives pretty good. Especially nice. We're going to have fire and go. It's a good 50, 60 feet so far. Stuck. We're high center. Alright, so can't get stuck. Can we cover the tracks? That's pretty cool. It's not too bad in the snow, but... It's... We're on a rock or chuck eye. As you can see, for a $34 RC car, it doesn't do that bad in the snow. I mean, of course it is, you know, what you saw was a, was a, you know, a freshly, you know, clean driveway or, you know, my parking lot. So there wasn't a lot, there was maybe a quarter inch of snow there. Anything more, I think this will probably get stuck. It doesn't, it's not like it's got a big, you know, gap from the bottom of the tires to the bottom of the, the RC car. So it's going to get stuck. Like it did, you saw it get stuck on a couple pieces of ice and a little bit of snow. Um, for me, popping it open that one time actually got it to move enough that I could spin it and, you know, like clear the snow so it could get going again. Which isn't bad. I would love to see maybe a little bit more tire depth on one of these so it can actually, you know, if you guys see this. So we could drive a little higher in the snow. That'd be pretty good. I mean, for where I'm at, we get, you know, pretty good amount of snow all the time during winter. But for what it did, it's not that bad. I'm not going to say the speed's great. It's definitely not the fastest RC car tank amphibious thing out there. But I have yet to put this in water. The next test is I'm going to actually submerge this in the bathtub. I'm going to actually try to drive it around in the bathtub. My bathtub ain't big, so I don't know how great of a video that is. Now, if I could actually get this out onto maybe like a frozen lake, I mean, we got frozen lakes around here, maybe I can get it out there. The problem with that test is, is if I can't recover this, it's gone. But 
for chewing, you know, the number five, you know, number five. You know, they put your number five storm. That's what they call it, the storm. It's also on the boxes, Crazon. So, for what it is, it's not that bad. Um, if you want it for a little kid's play toy, definitely do it. If you want it for your play toy, do it. Um, I like it. I'm having fun with this so far. Would love to see it a little more d deeper. Maybe if I can get my hands on something a little better for the snow, I'll play, do that for you guys too. But for now, thank you for checking out this little video. And uh, keep your eyes out for more on DragonBlogger.com and our YouTube channel. And thank you guys.